don't want to hurt my leg. Uh, let me try it again. All right, what's up, guys? Got an update uh, for you on this piece. Uh, emailed Subi Speed to get a um, to see what they can do about the imperfections uh, in the one that I did get. Um, I explained in the other video. I'll kind of try to go over these a little kind of quickly. So, if you didn't watch the other video, you kind of know what's going on. Um, I ordered this from Subi Speed along with these other pieces, uh, but this one, this is the uh, OLM Rough or Roof or I don't know R U F. Uh, the roof spoiler, it's in carbon fiber. Um, and it came to me, it had some imperfections. There's, you can kind of see it right there. There's a scratch right there, which is uh, underneath the, the clear coat or the gel coat or whatever they use on this. Um, unfortunately, it's not anything you could polish out, um, which kind of sucks. Uh, there were some imperfections in the uh, the finish. You can see right here, uh, it's, it's kind of hazy. Yeah, the finish is just not as clear as the other parts. Um, let's see if you can kind of, in the finish, you can see like up in here, it's a little rough. There was, I forget what side it was on. I, I had trouble finding this last time, um, but it might've been right here. Yeah, there it is. You can see in the lower left corner, there's a, it's like right, right there. Um, there's a little, I don't know what they call it. They're like little pockets or pin or pinholes or something um, that cause kind of looks like a bubble in, in the uh, carbon fiber. And also there was one somewhere else on, might've been, yeah, you can kind of see some weird finishing up here. Uh, there was another little like pinhole kind of thing too. But either way, uh, they got back to me and oh, there it is, it's right. See if I can get there it is right there um, I know this is me being picky but like I said this this part is $250 um, and you can see the finish right here it's just not that great uh, it's $250 part and uh, to me if you're spending the money I want something that's uh, perfect or as close to perfect as possible and uh, me being the OCD kind of person that I am uh, this just doesn't cut it for me uh, it's a little too um, kind of, I don't want to say beat up, but it's, it's just not as as uh, perfect as, as I would like it to be. So I reached out to them, showing them pictures. Um, they said, no problem, we'll send out a replacement under one condition, which this kind of threw me off a little bit. Um, they said, you need to break this in half for us to send a new replacement. Uh, and you have to break it in half and send them a picture. Um, apparently this is pretty standard for some companies, but to me, that's the first I ever had to experience that. Um, and I was a little a little taken back um, because to me, I understand that's their protocol, that's their procedure. Um, but to me, it was a little, little strange because you know it's something that I paid for, uh, my hard earned money, um, just like anybody else that would be going, you know, buying anything. Um, and uh, they failed to deliver something that, um, that they should have in the first place. Uh, there should have been better quality control, I thought. Uh, so they should ne have never have sent this one out. They should have gone back to you know, the defects or something or um, anything like that. Uh, but now I have to break pretty much a perfect piece in half and prove to them that I broke it so they can send me a new one. Uh, just for me, if I owned a company, um, I wouldn't care what the consumer would do with this piece. They can hold on to it. They can sell it if they want to. It doesn't matter to me. Um, it's, it's not a really big deal. It's at least in my mind, I'd rather, you know, personally, I wasn't going to sell this. I wanted to put this up on, on the wall or something like over, I don't know, over here or something, just kind of display it. Cause it's a nice piece. Um, and it's a shame that I'm have to break this in half, <laughs> uh, for them to send me out a replacement. I even asked if it was okay, if I could, um, you know, keep this one intact, you send out a replacement and then I'll kind of compare the two and, and pick out the better one and I'll either break the worst one or send that one back for you. Uh, but they, they were really adamant about um, keeping or breaking this one in half before they sent anything. So I'm kind of SOL on that. Um, so this video is gonna be me breaking my $250 carbon fiber roof spoiler for my STI in half. Um, <laughs> I thought it would be kind of a fun, cool video just because uh, I don't think anybody has really done this before, at least I haven't seen. Um, so I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my God, they're not going to watch the video and just see me breaking this in half and kind of start yelling at me as to why I'm doing that. So 
Um, anybody, I do encourage to watch the entire video to make to understand why I'm doing this because I want to just break this in half just for the fun of it. Um, so I guess let's break this thing in half. I'm about to break this pretty almost perfect carbon fiber piece in half um, so I can get a replacement. Uh, I kind of feel <laughs> like I shouldn't be doing this. It feels really weird. Um, but I, I honestly don't know how strong it is. So I don't know if it's honestly going to break uh, in one shot, but who, who knows? And maybe it will. But um, this is just me procrastinating because uh, I really don't want to break this in half. But I do want a better quality one. So, and the only way for me to get that is to snap this in half. So let's try this out. <laughs> I really don't want to do this. This sucks. Uh, all right, here we go. Yep. Well, we know that's strong, so let me try again. Super strong. Yeah, there's some cracking going on. <laughs> this thing's strong. So you can see right here, it's starting to crack. Oh, it sucks. It's starting to crack here. Uh, there's some splitting right here. Oh, this, man, this sucks. Man, this is a lot stronger than I thought. I thought it was going to snap in half easily. Let me, uh... I don't want to hurt my leg. Uh, let me try it again. There we go. And carbon fiber just went everywhere. So that really sucks. <laughs> Damn. That's... Yeah, yeah, carbon fiber is... You don't want to get that stuff in your eye or in your hands, though. So, um, But yeah, that's me breaking my $250 roof spoiler, carbon fiber roof spoiler, in a half so I can get a replacement from Subi Speed.